morning here again um, just on my way to work just been to the gym yet again um, you have a lot of time to think when you're in the gym um, you know there's people around you there's you, you're trying your best not to even look in the general direction of someone wearing skin tight lycra in case you look like a massive fat old perv um, and then you know you're just concentrating on doing doing your bits but while you're doing that you're also thinking and something I was thinking whilst watching the news on the BBC was what happened to the Labour Party now growing up I used to always vote Labour the um, I grew up in a mining village my granddad worked down the pit my dad was a painter and decorator my mum worked in a factory um, and I always had jobs of a similar, you know, sort of similar line. So I did the, I worked in factories, um, and then went to college, worked in laboratories, all, all, you know, did all sorts. Of, I've, I've had lots of jobs. Um, but one of the things that, not, I don't know if it concerns me about the Labour Party, but it just sort of doesn't seem right anymore. Is if you, when you see the BBC and you see um, labour activists ah oh, this fucking camera yeah labour activists they're ordinarily some middle class twat really you know that that doesn't really struggle never really struggled probably I mean by the look of them they're all university educated yeah, socialists. Yeah, well done. But now you look at the people that I wouldn't say that are voting conservative, but are of a more conservative elk who want to leave the EU. You know, the people that voted for it. They're all working class folk for the majority. It, there's been a, a massive sort of dynamic. The shift in the dynamic between the two. I know that you've always had like the socialist type of uh, students, but the, the way that they suck the dick of Corbyn, they've obviously never had a proper fucking job. You know, I, I go to work and one of the jobs that I had, if you, oh, come on, you bitch, go. One of the jobs that I've had, if I get stuck down this fucking lorry now, there we go. One of the jobs I've had was um, working with people that were long-term unemployed. I mean, seriously long-term unemployed. They've, they've not worked in over three years. L not a single fucking job. They've worked in, um, they've done um, voluntary work in order to keep the money coming in. But then they complain about being forced to do voluntary work in a fucking charity shop in order to get the money. The lazy motherfuckers, it's... Yeah, but um, the reason why I worry so much about, you know, socialism is that when the Labour Party was in last in the 90s, was it the 90s, 2000s, you know, the, the long period that they were in, it, it just saw this massive boom in people being fucking poor. Oh, I've got fucking, I've got squades. I can't work because I've got fucking, I've got a... I've got an ingrowing toenail, so I've got to be off work. I've got fucking bollockitis, and they, they just make something up. Or, oh, oh, my dad died, and I'm in this massive state of depression. When, and this is a fucking story. A bloke. Oh, I've not been able to cope to work. And oh, I'm never so sorry, pal. Um, you know, I, I'm, just, I'm sure it's, this is before I lost my father. I said, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't think of anything worse. It sounds dreadful. Um, can you tell me a bit about him? So he told me all about him. I was like, I'm sure he'd be proud of you if we can get you into work. When did he pass away? 1997. It's like 1997. You taking the fucking piss? 1997. You and it's fucking 2015. Fuck off. Get you sent to work, lad. But oh, mind boggling. And I know people that. I used to work with a guy that was blind as a bat. He could barely fucking see a thing. 
he had to have his face this close to the computer screen to see it. We gave we gave him a special monitor that was enormous, and it I was on an arm, and it pressed up against his face. And he was he was the best salesperson. Well, one of he was one of the best salesmen um, in the place, and uh, he overcame his his disability and absolutely fucking wrecked it. He uh, he smashed it. He must have been on an absolute mint. He was a proper bloke as well, dead nice, hard working, oh. And then you see these people, oh, oh my goodness, I mean, uh, oh, I can't find a job anyway. You can't find a job? I'll find you a job. And then they try the best to get out of in a fucking job. But my point being, after the mini rant, that was created by Labour, the ones that I fucking voted for. Never again. You work, you go to work, you get paid, you pay your taxes. It don't matter where your taxes go. Stop fucking crying about people. Oh, you know, taxes are going to this, that, and the other. It don't matter. You're going to get taxed anyway. Fuck me. And you got Jeremy Corbyn sat there, him and his fucking bunch of cronies. You've got uh, the, the shadow chancellor, a fucking Marxist. You've got him himself what the fuck how can you be in those positions and have those ideals Pe- even in an ideal world it won't fucking work because the t- people are cunts but then you've also got um, Diane Abbott now uh, uh, to be fair watching watching all um, sort of interviews with her from the past and that she used to be an awful lot more eloquent uh, a, a speech seemed a lot more uh, normal I mean, now she struggles to talk. I think there might actually be something wrong with her. But still, the things she used to say were still equally fucking shit and contentious. She's a, she's awful. She's a fucking racist. Just She only gets fucking voted for because of her fucking... Um, the people in her area. That's, that's the long and the short of it. Uh, oh man. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm no fa- massive fan of the Tories, and Boris Johnson is, is like fucking mini Trump, is he? But if, I'd rather my money be well, looking at capitalism that's that's what I want. I want to go to work <coughs> bless me, I want to go to work, get some money maybe invest it when I get back on top of things, you know, but, uh, oh, did austerity, like fucking Corbyn going on about ending austerity, oh, you know, people are, are people in debt, you see how people spend money nowadays, it's their own fucking fault, I, I've got debt because I buy shit that I don't fucking need, but I can't afford, so I get debt in order to get the shit that I don't need, and then there's people going to fucking food banks, if the food bank weren't there, tell them to stop buying fags. Tell them, tell them to cancel the fucking site Sky subscription. Stop getting takeaways. Fucking just kill yourself. Do whatever you want, but just don't fucking moan about it. Don't. Oh yeah. So long and the long and the short of it is, late. Labour voters, for the majority, are fucking detached from reality. I don't think anyone truly wants to vote for the Tories, the fucking Lib Dems. Jesus Christ, if anybody votes for the Lib Dems, they won't put him through a fucking mincer. And um, the SNP... Jesus Christ. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway... I'm nearly at work, but as I say, these conversations I'm having with myself, they're the type of things that I would have spoke to my dad about, so if you disagree with them, stick them up your arse, if you agree with them, thank you for watching, any road, I'm nearly at work, fucking labour.